This is a story about China and Pakistan. China is telling Pakistan to declare its citizens terrorists. You heard that right, and I'll say it again. China is telling Pakistan to declare its citizens terrorists. The army couldn't have been more cruel. The whole world has been telling Pakistan to declare some of its citizens as terrorists. India has been telling Pakistan to declare some of its citizens as terrorists. Now China is saying the same. What happened, you may ask? Have the Iron Brothers split? No, they haven't. There's a twist in this tale. China does not necessarily want peace. It only wants the safety of its investments. So China has told Pakistan to take action against two groups in particular. And that has Imran Khan in a bit of a bother. May I add that he only has himself to blame for the situation he finds himself in. I'll explain. This is our cover story tonight. First things first, there are two groups in Pakistan which have come together. They have a common purpose, attacking Chinese investments in Pakistan. Their alliance was announced on the 25th of July. A consortium of four Baloch organizations announced that they are tying up with the Sindhu Desh Revolutionary Army, the SRA. This consortium is called the Baloch Raji Ajoy Sangar. The SRA is a little-known group operating in the southeastern Sindh province of Pakistan. This alliance has issued a statement to this new alliance. It says, China wants to subjugate Sindh and Balochistan through CPEC. That is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC. And this statement has rattled China because this new alliance has members like the BLA, the Balochistan Liberation Army, a group well known for targeting the Chinese in Pakistan. It was behind the attack on the Karachi Stock Exchange in June. The BLA opposes Chinese investments in Balochistan and it represents a pushback against CPEC. It represents popular sentiment in the region. This group was formed in the year 2000. It began by attacking Pakistan security forces. Most re more recently, it has been targeting Chinese establishments and investments in Pakistan. In 2018, the Balochistan Liberation Army attacked the Chinese consulate in Karachi. One year later, a hotel backed by Chinese cash was targeted in Gwadar. The attack on the stock exchange in Karachi was a direct hit on Chinese interests. In January 2017, a consortium of Chinese firms acquired 40% stake in the Pakistan stock exchange. Two years later, the Pakistanis signed a contract with the Shenzhen stock exchange. This was for a new trading and surveillance program, a program that allows the stock exchange in Pakistan to link up with China's international stock markets. Now, the Balochistan Liberation Army is hitting China where it hurts the most. It is gaining momentum. New groups joined it last year, creating a larger Baloch alliance. This resistance movement is getting bigger, so China wants it banned. Reports say that Beijing wants Islamabad to move the UN Security Council. It wants the BLA to be listed as a global terrorist organization. Will Pakistan comply? Apparently it's hesitant. Not out of any love or sympathy for the Baloch people, but because going to the UN would give the Baloch independence struggle a voice at a global forum. And this could trigger a bigger movement it could embarrass Imran Khan further. But he's in no position to say no to China. His hands are tied by Chinese cash. The China-Pakistan economic corridor has become bigger than Pakistan. China's initial commitment was around $46 billion. Now China is investing well over $60 billion on CPEC. Other countries are joining the project. Last year, Saudi Arabia signed up to build an oil refinery in Gwadar, which is why the Baloch movement bothers them so much. As the projects expand, security, security threats are growing, and as security threats grow, Beijing's bills are increasing. More violent attacks will force China to reevaluate security plans and costs. It could even impact project timelines and lead to delays. CPEC is supposed to be a gateway for China to the West. It is the showpiece project of the Belt and Road Initiative. It is too big and too important to fail. Already the Wuhan virus has forced contractors to stop work. Pakistan cannot keep it going. It wants debt relief. 
CPEC projects are riddled with corruption and public anger against China is mounting. So China wants Pakistan to declare the critics and the opponents as terrorists.